Hi guys, welcome back to Switch Warrior. And today we are gonna do full body workout. So a lot of, oh, a lot of exercises when you mix uh, all the time, the upper part of the body and lower part of the body. Okay, just a, a two exercises to warm up all the body. We started with the first one from squat and then we go, we extend the hands on the top. Great, it will be a minute of exercise. Every exercise will be a minute. Okay, very well. That's it, make sure the position of the back, the chest is open. That's it, with the knees you don't want to pass the toes. Very well, there will be a lot of squats, uh, there are a lot uh, of work with the upper part of the body. Okay, because once again, the body want to get strong all together because the body is linked from the head to the feet. Okay, so do exercise, moving all the body at the same time. Fantastic for the fat loss, but also the, the body will get more functional and move better. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Now, second one, we go lateral lunge. Once we come back on the way back, we lift the knee, okay, and then we come back in the, in the original position. So, one, two, great. Will be 30 seconds each, okay, because uh, we're gonna do both legs. Great, very well. Good job, great. And now we change for the other side. So lateral lunge, up the knee. The hands you can keep in front of you. Important thing, the chest is open, and then uh, we keep uh, a natural position of the back, as usually. Never stress enough about that. Great. Chest is open. Good job. Great. Nice. Okay. Few seconds rest in between. Exercises. The next one, uh, we will need uh, the, the mat and the dumbbells. Okay, so we go on the floor. Get a little bit harder. We want to go from here. Okay. We lift in rowing and then we extend in triceps. So we lift, renegade row, and then extend the triceps. Okay, ready to go? We be for a minute. Great and go. Great. Alternate. So one arm at the time. Lift uh, the elbow wide the body then you will extend the arm completely, okay? You want to lock the elbow. You don't want to keep uh, the elbow contracted just halfway, because uh, the triceps, it will contract all the way, all the way, so once you lock the elbows. Very good. This, it will work uh, your back, your triceps, because you're maintaining the position, and, and uh, also the triceps with the chest extension. Great, 20 seconds, good, nice, very, very well, nice, 15 more seconds, good, body's getting warmer now, we're gonna mix the exercise, all of them with the legs, core, the upper part of the body, always working together, that's great, okay, we move the, the mat a little bit around, then uh, the next one, we go down in squat, and then uh, we go on lateral rise. So down, and then into lateral. Okay, ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Very good, very well. Once you are uh, on the way up, you already start uh, to lift the arms up. Great. That's very well. Once again, keep it in the stay position, and then the, the lateral rise can start. Okay, on way up, stay back, and then lift it. Good, you don't need to go much higher than the, your shoulder line. Chest is open. Good, very well. 30 seconds, we are halfway. Good, make sure the position of the squat 
it's very, very hard when we work uh, on the upper part of the body and low part of the body at the same time. It's very hard uh, sometimes to connect at uh, the right time, the upper part of the body and the low part. So make sure you do both uh, part of the body, good technique. So check your, with your uh, squat in this case, and then finish, and then start with uh, your lateral rise, and then again, you will start. Okay, so you do one, then uh, you do the other ones that we after. Once you're sure the two techniques that are good enough, you will repeat them, and uh, but uh, a little bit faster. So you go from one to the other. Okay, so now the next one, a little bit harder for uh, the balance. Okay, so we put one foot in the front with the hand uh, with the dumbbell, you need to be, so if you put your front foot will be the left, the right hand will be on the, on the upper, the, and the right hand will be the dumbbell. So opposite side, okay? So a single leg dead lift, we started with the feet together, then one leg move backward, you touch the floor, and then after, once you come up, you go in the upright row, single arm upright row, okay? So we go. 30 seconds each, we change, we go from one side to the other. So from here, down, very good. Dead lift, plus upright row. Great. Try when you do the upright row to keep the balance, to so don't put the head, the leg in the pro, on the floor. If you are a beginner, okay, you find a very, very hard, you can put the leg on the floor. Great. Good. Once uh, you do the dead lift, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your back, and go all the way up. Very good. That's the no easy exercises, guys. They're quite complicated. Good. One more. That's it. Very well. Okay. Can you feel how much muscles that are involved in this exercise? Then, perfect. We go on the other leg. So you change, swap the leg, swap the, swap the hand as well. So if it before was the right, you go on the left. Okay. So again, good. Upright row. Very well. Make sure you straight your back first, and then you go with your best upright row, as high as possible, while your chin. Okay, good. A few more seconds, guys. Good, very well. You see, not very easy to keep the balance, but it will improve. Great. Very, very well. One more. Very good, okay. We leave the dumbbells on the side now. That's when it was a very, very good exercise for uh, the hamstring, for the glutes, low back, and uh, also the shoulder when uh, we lift the weight. So now, we're gonna go next one. Gonna go push-ups into alternate plank. Two exercises, very, very good both of them. One work mainly the chest, but keep it tight all the time with the abdominals. That's the push-ups. The next one will be alternate plank. Alternate, that's, uh, it will be 100% full core. Okay, so we'll be one more minute. We start uh, in the 10 seconds from now. The moment I explain, so down, push up. Then we lift one arm at the opposite leg. Down again, other side. Okay, you ready to go? Come on, people, then. Down, left arm and right leg. Brilliant. The other side. Try to keep the hips uh, in line with the rest of the body, but uh, and lift uh, the arm and the leg as high as possible on the full range of movement. You will feel a squeeze on your lower back and glutes. That uh, will be the sign you are in the right point. Okay, good, very well. Don't worry if you feel your balance is not perfect. Okay, it will get much better after a few times you do it. Great, you feel the chest, you feel the core, low back, glutes, great. Nice, 15 more seconds. Very well, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, okay, now the next one. It will be square shoulder squat to shoulder press. Now, 
We are gonna keep uh, the hands always here, okay, during the squat. So we go down deep with the elbows, we will touch the knees. Then uh, once we go up, we are gonna twist 90 degrees. So you want to watch next to you, okay? You want to twist completely. It's not a front one as usually, but we go, we twist uh, 90 degrees. The position of the legs, they will stay the same, but we twist the upper part of the body. Very good uh, for core. But also at the same time, we turn the shoulders and legs during the squat. Okay, three, two, one. Very good, touch knee and elbows, twist it. Of course, alternate. Great. Good. Very well. Down. Breathe, nice. When you do squat once again, keep the chest up. That's it. Very well. Down. No your spine. Great. 30 seconds to go. Actually 20 already. So you want to watch the side. Great. Down. Because we maintain the shoulder all the time contracted, you can feel Big exercise for the shoulders. Okay, 10 more seconds, guys. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we shake up a little bit the hands because I believe you need it. Okay, the shoulders are pumping, but still we are working a low part of the body as well at the same time. Okay, now next one. We are gonna do a nice lunge. Then we bent over row, and we are gonna use with the dumbbells do the bicep curl. I'll show you with the dumbbells. So, from backward, nice and long lunges. Don't be afraid, make a long one. Now, if you can't find your balance, your balance straight away, don't go straight away into the next technique. Okay, so you do the lunge, find your balance, then bump forward, the dumbbells, so they just go under you, leave the dumbbells go. And then when you're forward, you go with the biceps and then come back. We'll be attended, so we go on the other side as well. Okay, we go three, two, one. Nice, long lunge, keep the balance. Bend forward, nice spicy curl, come back. Very good, forward, yes, very, very well. Bend. Nice bicep, come back straight with the back. You go backward with the lunge. Bent, great. Good. Very well. Forward, bent, very, very well. Nice. Step, bent. Will be bending forward, you will feel a little bit more on the biceps than a normal bicep curl. Okay? Good, 20 seconds to go. Good, nice, very well. Good, 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 five more seconds, guys, come on. That's it, let's go. Two, one, fantastic, very, very good. Okay, now, the next one, we still need the, the dumbbells. We are gonna go on the step, on a nice lunge. Then once you are there, on the like uh, lunge position, with the hands here, you are gonna do down, plus extend the shoulder up, okay? And then we come back. So the next one will be with the other leg. One, two, and three, okay? So at the same time you push up, at the same time you go down in the dips of uh, lunge and dips, okay? So, very good. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Lunge. And come back. Very well. Good. So, lunge. Up and down. Can you see the movement? That's great. So, one. Down. Open with the arms. Down with the leg. Great. And come back. 
with the knees on the back, the back knees. You want to go as close as possible to the floor. You don't need to touch it. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Very well. One, two, three, and four. Good, 15 more seconds. Very well. You can feel it. The body, it gets stronger, much coordinated, better balance. Okay, and that's, uh, it's always three very, very good things for a, a warrior. Okay, warrior without balance of power, there's not much we can do. Okay, that's it. And time, very, very good. Okay, now, with the, the next one will be with the body weight. So I move the step a little, the tower. Okay, so we go on reverse lunge. We go down, touch the floor. With the same leg you are doing the lunge, you kick forward. Come back in lunge and come back in the technique. And then other side, I know it looks like a little bit harder. Okay, so we have a very good coordination. So, reverse lunge, go down, go forward, touch, uh, kick, come back in lunge, and come back again. Okay, I'm gonna do one of each leg slower again, okay? So, reverse lunge, down, touch, kick, reverse lunge, and come back. One more time, reverse, down, touch, uh, kick forward, Reverse lunge and come back. Okay, now we can do a little bit for faster for 45 more seconds. Okay, let's go. And lunge, down, touch, kick, lunge, brilliant. Other leg, down, touch, kick, reverse lunge, brilliant. Okay, and then next one, good, touch, kick. Come back in reverse lunges. Come back. Very good. Reverse. Touch. Kick. Reverse. Come back. Very good. 15 more seconds, guys. Come on. Reverse. Kick. Lunge. And come back. And again. Reverse. Touch. Kick. Come back. And time. Very, very good. Okay. Now, the next one. Is uh, an exercise we do entire for the upper part of the body. So we go from bicycle curl to lateral rise for a minute. Okay? So get pick, pick up your dumbbells and then you go on five, four, three, two, one, and go. So lateral bicep. Very well. Good. You don't need to go slower here. So if you want to maximize the reps in one minute, that is a good thing. Great. That's it. Important thing, the back is always straight. You don't want to swing when you do the biceps or like bending forward to do the lateral rise. Okay? Very good. Nice. Come on with the reps, guys. It's a 30 seconds to go. Very well. Very well. Strong, go up and down. Lateral, bicep, lateral, bicep. Very good. Come on, come on, come on. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Go on. I'll give you 30 seconds rest after this. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's good. Very, very well. Okay. Check a little bit your arms. And then uh, the next one, it will be the exercise for legs. Then uh, be bent over and we extend the tricep from standing. We don't go on the mat like before. So it will be down in squat, up, bent over, extend the arms behind, straight again. Squat, bent over, extend the arms, and then straight again. Okay, can you do that? Let's go. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Come on, 
all the way down with the squat. Come back straight, bend over, lift the elbow next to the body, extend your triceps. And again, down, bend over, great. Come on, guys. So, good, lift your elbow, and then you extend completely. Okay, down, bend over, lift the elbow, triceps, breathe in. Good, 30 more seconds. Nice, I can feel it. We can reach the really, really end of the range of movement with this exercise for the tricep. Okay, well, bent over, lift the elbow. Great, 20 seconds to go. Bend, lift the elbow, and go. Very well, nice. Good, squat, up, bent, triceps. Great, and time, very, very good. Okay, feel the triceps? Very well, so you did it in the right way. So now, we will do the same thing. It will be a squat, bent forward. Instead, do the triceps, we are gonna lift, so reverse flies. Okay, we will put the arm 90 degrees, so we are gonna work the back on the upper part. Okay, just behind on the scapulas. Okay, so get the dumbbells. Once again, we go down in squat, squat again, then bent over, lift it down, position, squat again. Okay, we go in five, four, three, two, one, and we go. Squat, great, bent over, lift it, great, straight, and come back. Good, bent over, weight in front of you, lift it, great. Very, very well, down, good, bent over. That's it. You want to reach the really, really, really end of range of movement once you go bent over, reverse flies. Okay, really, really end. Make sure. Good job. 30 seconds, guys. Over. Good. As low as possible with the squat. Good. But still maintain the knee behind the toes. And then the chest is open and the lower back is nice and strong. Good. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. A time, very well. Okay, next one, we will need the mat. Good, and then, uh, gonna work uh, the, we, go, we use the dumbbells as a, uh, for, for the grip. Okay, then we go down, push up, on the way up, we twist the body, okay, and we extend the weight up. Okay, then down, other side of course. Okay, are you ready for that? I'll give you 10 more seconds rest, and then this one is perfect for the chest during the push-ups, but also very good rotation of the, of the core. Fantastic, five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Down, twist it, very well. Down, twist it, great job. Come on. Good guys, good guys. Once you twist your body, try to don't drop your hips, but keep the hips nice and straight with the rest of the body. Make sure guys, okay? Good, nice, very good job. Twist it, all the way down for the full push up. If uh, it's too hard for you to do push-ups all the time, you go on the knees, go down, come back on your, on your feet, and then twist it. Good, 20 seconds to go. Very well. 10 seconds to go. That's it. Come on, guys. Few more reps. That's it. Twist completely. Good. Three, two, one. Time. Very, very good. Okay. 30 seconds rest for that. Quite tough exercise. Okay, so next one, it will be on the mat. We don't need the, 
the dumbbells for now, so we put on the side. Then uh, it will be double crunches, but uh, with the hands straight and legs straight. A little bit harder to do, because you need a very, very good coordination for upper part of, of the body and low part. Okay, we extend the hands above your head, we lift the legs, and we lift the upper part of the body as well. So the only muscle will be on the floor, if we, the only part, it will be the bum. Okay, so we go up and touch it. Okay, I'll show you again that. If uh, you cannot do it, because uh, for some reason you can't find the coordination, try to lift uh, the upper part of the body first and then lift uh, the legs. Okay, it will be much easier for the body to lift uh, the upper part of the body if uh, the legs they are still down. Okay, so if you lift the leg, lift your body, upper part of the body will be much harder. Make sense? Very good. So, you ready for that? If it's too hard, you can do this and go and touch your feet. So keep the back on the floor, it's just a little crunch to go, try to reach the feet. Okay, we will make the full one. Three, two, one, and go. Good. You can feel all the muscles of the core that are gonna get involved. Half a part of the abdominals, laterals as well, to keep the balance of the leg, to don't twist. Okay, the low part of the abdominals, close to the legs. Great, very, very good the coordination exercise. No easy, I understand, but you will see, more you do it, and more you can do it. So easier will be for you. So once you can do it, that will be quite good coordination, okay? Good, always something very important. You want to be a warrior, good job. That's it, we don't want to just muscles, but you want uh, the body it's good to do everything, okay? So, move fast movement, slow movement, lifting every way, nice sprints, okay? Five, four, three, two, that's one. Great, okay. Now, then, is that we go on uh, um, the next one. It will be kind of a bicycle crunches. The exercise I do all the time, it will be this one. But in this case, we are gonna do different. We are gonna go one hand and the opposite leg. Uh, the leg will be straight, so we'll be that one. 30 seconds each, okay? So 30 seconds, 10 seconds off, just uh, for you to find the coordination for the other part, and then we start straight away again, okay? Give me five, four, three, two, the hands behind the neck, and go. Great, good. You can feel much more. The lateral abdominals is working now. Very well. Good, the other hand, we can keep on the floor, but try to don't push down to help the movement. Great. 15 more seconds on this side. Good. Once again, try to lift before the upper part of the body, and then the lower part. Let's see, good. Last one. Wow, okay. Can feel it that one. Okay, then we go on the other side now. So the arm go behind the here, and then we're gonna do all the time opposite leg. So lift the upper part of the body. We'll be 30 more seconds, guys. Come on. Good. Very well. That's great. Good. Lift the upper part of the body, and then the legs as straight as possible. Come and meet. Try to touch. Uh, knee and uh, elbow. Okay, that's great. Feed the lateral abdominals. 10 more seconds, please. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, great. So now we're going to do the last exercise. It will involve the upper part of the body, abdominals, and then the legs as well. So we got the, the the dumbbells, we go in a nice squat position, and then we are gonna punch. With the right on the left, and left on the right. But maintain a static position. Okay, we'll be one minute. We'll be the last one. We will focus uh, on twisting as much as possible. And hold the position of the squat as low as possible. Okay, we'll be the last one, guys, and a nice, nice uh, 
uh, you can get pick it up one of our cool down other videos okay nice uh, cool down and maybe some tips for a good nutrition okay three two one position and go keep the back as straight as possible you don't want to bend forward that's it nice squat position good come on then great let's go guys we finish good job very very well 15 seconds you're already gone 45 to go great twist it completely the body you will feel the legs they are pumping from the position from the starting position the core is twisting so we are working the lateral core lateral dominance and then the upper part of the body we are working shoulders back and everything come on guys 20 more seconds 20 20 20 come on 15 now good keep it low with the squat twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and time very very good guys this one was the last exercise thank you very much and see you next time with andrea with switch fitness take care